Welcome to Your Finance TV. Today we have Doug Bush from Chart Smarter, and we're going to break down the semiconductors or some of the semiconductor stocks for you. We're going to be covering Rambus, Sirius Logic, and Wolf Speed. Welcome to the show, Doug. Great to be back, Scott. Always a pleasure. All right, before we jump into this, don't forget to click on that little subscribe button down below. Every little subscribe helps, and also you're going to be kept up to date with all sorts of different financial news that's coming through. All right, let's kick into this. The first chart we're looking at with you, Doug, is Rambus. The symbol is RMBS. Yeah, this is uh, that quote-unquote old tech play. Uh, it doesn't really get the attention I think it deserves. Uh, look, this one's trading right at a 20-year high, uh, right near a 45-55 double bottom pivot. Uh, prior to its most recent earnings reaction, Scott, which fell fractionally, seven in a row were up very nicely. Um, the last six months, every time it fell below it, it's 50-day moving average, which is sloping higher. It recaptured it very quickly. I think this one's a long-term winner. You want to enter with a buy stop above that 45-55 pivot. It's got to close above there. The last three days have been above, but not no closes just yet. Okay. We're, we're recording this just before the close, so it's going to be interesting. All right. Let's have a look at uh, Cirrus Logic, which is CRUS. CRUS. Yeah, this is another old tech one. Very nice action. If you take a look at the chart, very taut action. That's a hallmark bullish trade. I'm a big round number theory guy. Uh, par is right where it's at, uh, where it found good support. The daily chart is right near a double bottom pivot of 105.87. Its weekly chart looks even better, Scott. It's just above a double bottom pivot of 95. Actually, it's, it's comfortably above that. And it's good to see a breakout work right away. It's now bull flagging on that weekly chart. As you can see, a move above 107.50, that would be tomorrow. A close above that would carry a measured move to 140, Scott. Okay. And then the last one we're looking at with you is wolf speed. And that's quite a simple, quite a simple symbol. Wolf. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. It's actually the form of Cree. I don't know if you remember that one. It's a big time laggard. You know, there's bifurcation in all these groups. Um, this is a laggard, as I said, one of the overall markets, best individual groups, the semis. Uh, it's off 50% from its annual peak. The SMH is off less than uh, uh, less than 10% since last October on a weekly basis. It's rose just eight times. Um, last week when the SMH was up over 5%, this name was down. Very bad relative strength. Short this one, as you see, just below that bear flag pivot of 61. A breakdown would carry a measured move to 48, Scott. Wow. Okay, Doug, now listen, this is great to have you back for the first show. Do you think you can come back next week and give us a few more names? Absolutely. I look forward to it. Great. And we look forward to it too. And for everyone else out there, don't forget to look at chartsmarter.com to find out more of Doug's uh, insights. And until next time, good luck investing.